I'm sure many of you denizens of the interwebs already know of this, but for those not completely up to date, earlier this week, several big news stations released a story about how Pepe the Frog was a symbol of white nationalism. Let that sink in for just a second. This was a story from, of all things, the Clinton campaign. This can be seen on her campaign website that Pepe the Frog, the lovable, depressed internet meme we all know and relate to, is a symbol of white nationalism. Now, the main idea behind this is that Pepe the Frog, through Donald Trump, with the assistance of Vladimir Putin, is their symbol for American white nationalism. Okay. Let me ask you kind folks this. Which of these two things sounds more plausible? That a green frog with a Hispanic name is being used by Trump and Putin to further the idea of American white nationalism or a woman in her late 60s has some form of dementia? There is a correct answer here. This is beyond stupid. This is beyond insane. It's things like this that I see that make me just pine for the apocalypse. Just end it now. Restart everything from scratch. We don't deserve it anymore. There is no excuse anymore. There really isn't. If this was the early 2000s when the internet hadn't been around all that long, I could maybe understand. Not now. The internet has been mainstream and in wide use for more than 20 years. There, There is no excuse. Most of these news stations have some of the largest websites on the internet and the most trafficked websites on the internet. There is no excuse for why they're so fucking stupid about the internet. None. You cannot justify it anymore. As for how this started itself, I've backtracked it a little bit and it looks like the first story about this was from a publication called The Daily Caller. Now, by some huge coincidence, I assure you, one of the members of the board of The Daily Caller is the Clinton's daughter. What a world we live in, huh? So small. From my understanding, and I have no way to completely verify this, but it sounds reasonable, so I'm going with this, is that two people called in or spoke to someone at the Daily Caller and got them to believe this white nationalism thing about Pepe the Frog in an attempt to troll them. And it was actually uh, Clinton's daughter that kind of pushed it to make this article happen. And then it kind of blew up from there. I would just like to take a quick moment to say that it's no longer funny trolling news stations anymore. The first few times, yeah, it was hilarious. It's... It stopped being funny because they will fucking believe anything.
They don't fact check. They don't research. They don't do any sort of shit that they should do anymore. They will take you at face value if you have the wildest, crazy fucking thing. And this is where we get our news from. Stop. For the sake of our own sanity, stop. Please. I would like to actually learn about the day-to-day -day happenings and not be told that an internet meme is racism because reasons. I... I can't... I can believe I don't want to that this is an actual thing. That our media is this fucking stupid. That they will just blindly go along with something like this. No one stopped... I'm not sure if it was because no one thought for a second or because Clinton's daughter so heavily pushed it that this became a thing. Either way, my hope for humanity just keeps dropping lower and lower. Just when I think I hit rock bottom, uh, Pepe the Frog becomes white nationalism. Fun. Two more months. Two more fucking months. I gotta live through this. Help me, please. Ugh. Can't wake up. The, the worst part about this, it's, it's not that hard. It really isn't to look up this kind of stuff. Actually, yeah, I'll take that back. It, it, it kind of is. It's, the internet is a really messy place. It's, it's hard to find anything on the internet. If only there was a uh, repository of meme information uh, that has chronicled uh, the creation of and the use of memes throughout internet history. Uh, a place where you could, um, dare I say, know your memes. Hopefully someone will get on that. And Math Machine just losing his goddamn mind yet again. Stop it now, please. Peace out.